Hi, this is Jacob Anderson. This video is to show you how to change the bearings on your two bearing quill. This video is only available to customers who've bought bearings from me or other parts like that. Alright, so Shopsmith had three variations of the two bearing quill. Most of them look like this. They, they have a roll pin which attaches two pieces of a shaft. So they use this style for the vast majority of the two bearing quills. But before they went to this, they had a two piece shaft that was epoxied together. And they only did that like the first year before they realized that was trouble because uh, you just can't get them apart. So if you have one of the two bearing quills from the very first year, you're kind of in trouble. In that case, the best you can do is either cut this bearing off totally or drill tiny holes on both sides through the, the uh, dust guard and you can inject some grease into the bearing uh, with a needle grease gun. So that only applies to the very first year of two bearing quills. But most of them look like this, two parts to the shaft. And then the later ones, the last 10 years or so, it's a single piece shaft but the bearings are different. <clears throat> this on this style here, the bearings are a 6003 up front and a 6002 in back. But when they had the single piece, they have a 6203 up front and the 6003 back here. So when you're ordering bearings from me, you have to make sure you order the correct ones for your your shaft. Uh, you can also look carefully back here, uh, this, these little uh, uh, splines overlap the bearing, so that's also a clue that you have to remove this, because uh, again those first ones don't have the roll pin, but if you see the splines overlapping the body of the bearing itself, you know that you have one of those early ones, but this makes it real obvious, this pin, that it's a two-part shaft. And then the newer one-part shafts, again, the bearings are bigger, so the splines don't overlap the bearing. So you can just take the bearing, the rear bearing, just straight up off the shaft. Okay, so here's how I remove or separate the two parts. I have a cradle here that I modified and a support for the back end. Use the correct size pin punch. knock the pin out. Now hopefully you can just twist it apart. Sometimes there's burrs. Sometimes you need a little help twisting. Now this one here is fighting me a little bit so what I'm going to do is squirt some penetrating oil into the hole. Twist it to help it get lubricated to separate. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of movement. Now I can use a screwdriver to help me pry it apart. Okay, pause it. Okay, and this one fought me, so I had to do this channel lock pliers to help me twist it to get it apart. It was a burr was on this one that made it harder to turn. Now, when you're using the channel lock pliers, you have to stay above the area that your drive ring slides on. You can see right there, that's the line. So it's okay to scar it up here, like I saw that I did. But you need to be able to let the drive ring slide over that part of the quill. All right, now we're going to go over to the drill or the shop press and take these two bearings off. So 
that's how you take off the two bearings. All right, so I'm going to clean up the areas the bearings came off of for sure. At the same time, I go ahead and clean everything else. All right, I got my new brand new bearings here ready to install. All right, so you can just about press them both on at once here. So both of the new bearings are installed. Now it's a matter of putting the shaft back together. Now sometimes this hole is drilled off center so you kind of have to turn the shaft to see which way lines up better. Because if you don't get the pin started right, it's a mess. And you have to be very careful. This is very easily bent. So when you're uh, taking them in and out, Got to make sure you don't bend your shaft. So I get the uh, roll pin started just by hand. And then I have a punch that I've uh, made a divot in to help hold that. And I like to center that roll pin so it's equally on both sides of the shaft. It rarely is that way when you take it apart, but I think that helps the shaft stay uh, better balanced. All right, now it's just a matter of putting the uh, shaft back into your quill housing and putting in the snap ring and putting your uh, hub back on. All right, so go to my website for tons of information about Shopsmiths, Shopsmith headstock repairs, troubleshooting, access to all of my publications, including my full-length DVDs for repairing the headstock. Uh, of course, access to my web store, which you've already found if you bought bearings and stuff from me. So please go there. Lots of great information for you. Thank you.